Hey, what's up, Zach here. And today I've got my top five favorite recovery sandals or recovery slides for summer 2023. Here we go. Now coming in at number five is a slide I think a lot of you would probably put number one on your list, but for a few reasons, they get dropped down a few pegs and that is the Ufos recovery slide. Now the reason I love Ufos, bought a few pairs, these are actually my wife's pair right here, is because the foam in them is the most forgiving foam on the market right now. It's really not even close. It's the softest, just easiest to wear after your feet have just been pounded all all day either on asphalt or concrete or even on hardwood. The problem with that foam is it's not very dense underfoot so it's not going to give you a ton of arch support or just a ton of support in general and number two it also can kind of start to absorb some moisture so you have to wear them once your feet are completely dry. You can't put them on after you've been soaking your socks and sweat and just go right into them. I mean you can they're just not going to last very long until they start to stink. So I'd say as long as your feet are dry and you want the most cushy feeling cushioned sandal out there. I know it's a lot of cushions. Um, it, these are definitely a great pickup. You just kind of have to be the right person for them. And coming in at number four is a tie between the Nike Azuna 2s as well as the Adidas Adelette sandals. They both have pretty stiff foam in the footbed, give you pretty decent arch support. The Adidas Adelettes are obviously a little bit more of a budget option and they're easy to throw a few pairs in your gym bag. The Nikes I like because they have that same type of foam set up, a little bit more supportive, but unlike the Adelettes, these have bungee cords and the dorsal retention straps so you can actually adjust that at retention strap. And so for budget, I love the Adelettes and just for maybe a little bit more premium, I like the Azuna 2s. And coming in at number three, I'm not sure if you can call these sandals, hybrid slides, I, I'm not real slip-ons, I have no idea, but it's the Under Armour Slip Speed. Now the reason I love the Slip Speed is, is they can go from a shoe to a slide just in a couple seconds. The other thing is they have flow foam in them, which is for certain one of the most forgiving as well as bouncy foams out there in the basketball and running space. However, when they put them in this hybrid shoe, more of like a kick around shoe, a slide, as well as a training shoe, you kind of get the forgiveness of the foam, you get a little bit of that bounce of that foam, a little more resilience, but these can go from a training shoe to a recovery shoe pretty quick, especially with the BOA closure system. If you want a little bit more room in there, you just open up the BOA and it'll expand for you. And if you want it to contour a little bit more, you just dial it right in. And coming in at number two is still one of my very favorite slides, and that is the Hoka One One Aura sandal. And you know, it's really difficult to bottom these things out. I've had this particular pair for about two years now, and they're not showing much wear whatsoever, especially in the footbed. They're still as resilient as when I got them for my original review of sandals a couple years ago. So, I mean, if you want the most durable as well as arch contouring sandal out there, these are definitely a great pickup and they resist sweat and odor better than anything on this list. I, I would say if you want a huge stack, the Hoka's are by far the best. And coming in at number one, I actually had them on my feet while I was doing this review. I was looking all around for them and I actually just had to look down and that is the Crocs Bias Slide. Now I've had these ones, same amount of time I have had the Hoka's and I usually go back and forth uh, between the two of them. The reason I like the Crocs a little bit more is they are just a little bit more ergonomic and biomechanically fitting to the foot. They're just a little bit wider in the midfoot specifically. Whereas the Hoka's have a higher stack, these have just a little bit more actual contour to them, kind of like regular Crocs do. Plus because Crocs foam is so resilient, you're gonna get a lot of that durability like you do with the Hoka's. You can see these ones are starting to wear down in the tread here. So I probably will be grabbing another pair of these pretty soon. But in terms of comfort, support, as well as odor resistance, as well as the Hoka's, um, there's really nothing better on the market and that's kind of been my favorite for years now. But remember, in terms of recovery footwear, it really depends on how you like to recover. If you're someone that needs stout arch support, you're not gonna wanna go with something really cushioned and soft. Versus if you're someone that likes to go really minimalist barefoot, then just get a pair of barefoot shoes out there and recover in those, that's fine too. Uh, just like I said, it really depends on how you personally like to recover and usually comes down to trying a few pairs on and seeing how you gel with them. So I'd love to hear what your favorite recovery methods are, what your favorite recovery footwear and slides are. Please leave me a comment down below. Maybe we'll check them out on a future video. And if you want to see a deeper dive on still one of the most versatile shoes in the market and the shoe that made this list, the Under Armour Slip Speed, make sure you click into this video up above and subscribe down below. Respect your rubber and foam. See you in the next one.